So for those of you waiting for the second gen AirPods Max, we do have some news suggesting a 2023 release, and so let's delve into it. So credible supply chain source Minchiko tells us, Apple's plan to convert the complete AirPods lineup to the Type-C port. Now yes, I'm aware that Apple could just refresh the existing products and just get rid of the Lightning ports and replace them with the Lightning ports. Apple has done similar refreshes in the past. For example, AirPods 2 were AirPods 1, but of course, with a wireless charging case, and similar to that, we saw AirPods Pro get a new charging case with MagSafe towards the end of last year, so yes, it's entirely possible that, of course, Apple could be refreshing the existing pair of AirPods Max with the Type-C ports. However, personally, I do think that Apple is going to launch a second-gen pair of the Maxes with this whole USB-C transition because number one AirPods Max at that point would be three years old and, of course, on average, Apple announces new AirPods models every three years. But also do remember that giving the other AirPods a Type-C port is relatively simple because Apple can just replace the case, but the earbuds themselves can stay exactly the same. Now this won't be the case with AirPods Max because we have the Type-C ports on the actual headphone itself, and so I'm sure there's going to be some retooling involved giving this a Type-C port, and so they might as well release the second gen AirPods Max. And so yes, I'm pretty happy that a possible upgrade could be the Type-C ports. And as for other changes I want to see Apple give us, I'm hoping we get a much better hard shell case. Something similar to what the Sony XM5s offer because that is a lot better than the smart case, which actually don't protect the headphones. I'm also praying we see a lower price. They are, in my opinion, too expensive, and so lowering the price to 450 could make sense. Improved ANC and battery life, water resistance, and faster charging would also be great. So yes, I'm expecting quite a lot out of the second gen AirPods Max. Anyways, let's delve into your questions regarding these new AirPods. So I'm Moses Williams says, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for the midnight color, which of course would match the MacBook Air and the iPhone 13. And yes, I'm also praying we see this. Midnight even with the fingerprints does look gorgeous. And so carrying that shade over to the AirPods Max would be pretty great. Now, no one you knows gives us a long list of features they wanna see with future AirPods Max. They say three day battery life, three minute charging for three hours, much lower weight, plastic hands, waterproof, better ANC and ANC for the mic, to filter out background sounds, and off button and also a really nice case. And out of those, yes, I wanna see battery life improvements, charging improvements would also be great. I know the XM5s already offer fast charging, so the AirPods matching that would be pretty convenient. And yeah, the lower weight and the plastic cans would also be nice because I've heard many complain about the weight, and of course a change in material could fix the condensation issue that of course some have been facing. As for water resistance, yes, for those who work out with headphones, this is a must, and so including that with these AirPods would also be great. Now as for the better ANC, I do think Apple's gonna give us that. With AirPods Max 2 and as for the mics, they are already pretty good. BS, giving us the ability to filter out background sounds when using the mics would be convenient. Now the off button actually I don't care about because as far as I know existing AirPods Max do a pretty good job at turning themselves off. And to be honest, I find it convenient for the AirPods to turn themselves off and not me having to flip a switch. And so I don't mind Apple leaving that out with AirPods Max 2. And finally, a better case is a must. The smart case is terrible and does a pretty bad job at being a case. And so once again, I'm praying that Apple does give us a hard shell case for these new AirPods Max. Now Dan says, I just bought a pair of AirPods Max for $200 and they were still under warranty. Now that is a pretty fantastic deal. And to be honest, I've seen many sales on the current AirPods Max. And since I'm pretty sure that retailers do need permission from Apple to lower prices, I think that is a sign that Apple is willing to lower the price of these and can admit these were too expensive to begin with. 
And so yes, 450 for the AirPods Max 2 makes a ton of sense, and I could actually see that happening since, do you remember with the HomePods, Apple also admitted that was too expensive, and gave it a price card. So GAGBro29 says, AirPods Max need to be reversible with touch controls on both cups, so that it does not matter how you wear them. Now this was actually initially being worked on but had to be scrapped, but yes, I'm hoping we do see it. It would be pretty convenient. They also want lots of sorted supports and a better case, and yes, I completely agree with that. We need both of those features ASAP. So Rabbi says, I will actually buy AirPods Max 2 if the bra case was changed. And yes, I'm completely with you. The smart case was a joke of a case. And I'm hoping that's the first thing Apple fixes with these new Maxes. So Brandon says, a better case, a power button plastic builds, better base, USB type C water resistance, and a lower price, $400 should suffice. Now $400 would be perfect, but realistically, Apple's not going to be that nice. The price cut's going to be $100 at the very most. And so yeah, I think $450's right for the price of the second gen Max. And as for the features you listed, they are very similar to the other suggestions. And yeah, I agree with them for the most part. Especially better bass, because I am a bass lover myself. But personally, as I said before, I don't need a power button on these. Apple can again leave that out. So Roger says not having USB-C is stupid, and yes, I agree, Lightning should die because Type-C is more universal port, and with these not having wireless charging, many might have to carry around a Lightning port just for these headphones instead of having a Type-C port for all their devices. And so I'm happy that Quo does believe Apple is going to transition to the Type-C ports in 2023. So Joe says he wants AirPods Max Lite, and yes, I completely agree, I've been wanting this for ages now because I could care less about the premium build quality. I would take a plastic pair of headphones, but with the same tech the AirPods Max has at a low price, and so introducing a sport variant, like some initial rumours were suggesting would be great, and I'm sure those would be popular if it was around $350. Anyways, that's about it guys, but of course, tell me your thoughts regarding the report in the comments. Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the video above on details regarding the M2 iPads, and on that note, see ya peeps.